on Monday, you conducted a video conference uh, with uh, Bosnian Parliament conducting the inquiry into the judicial system over there. Now, you know, there are a lot of uh, domestic issues here as well, chiefly being the pandemic. You yourself are in a re-election campaign. Uh, voting is already underway. Why take time out of your day to uh, speak with Bosnian parliamentarians? Well, we put we put great stock in uh, in the in the Bosnia Herzegovina relationship in, in this country. We, uh, of course, are tied together by uh, historical uh, ties and 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 a, and a shared aspiration for a democratic development. And um, I'm the chairman of the House Democracy Partnership, which is the uh, parliament to parliament um, arm of the U.S. Congress, where we work with members and staff in uh, in developing countries to improve parliamentary effectiveness, to mutually work on improving our institution's performance. And so uh, that's how I got pulled into this conversation with, uh, with Chairman Arnott and the, uh, and the Bosnians. They, they, um, they are in, engaged in a very, very important uh, effort to, uh, to strengthen their oversight activity. This was prompted by a, uh, a crisis of sorts involving the High Judicial and Prosecutorial Council. And uh, what, what they, they did in the wake of that was to form a, uh, a law on parliamentary oversight. Uh, our, our government uh, took an interest in that for their very beginning, as did OSCE and the EU. And, and so this, this law now is being implemented and they're, they're having very extensive um, inquiries, hearings under uh, Chairman Arnott's leadership to, uh, to, to uh, oversee the judiciary and, and to figure out what kind of uh, moves should come next to, uh, to protect judicial uh, independence. And so uh, that's where we come in. We are, um, we, we are the, uh, the body in the U.S. House that probably works most directly with parliaments overseas. And um, this was an instance where um, the parliament um, asked for our consultation, and I was happy to give it, even in the midst of a campaign. This is, uh, this is important. Based on your conversations, on reports that you have read, uh, what is your assessment of the uh, judicial, uh, the state of the judicial system in Bosnia right now? Well, I'm not going to render an opinion on the judicial system in Bosnia. I don't pretend to be uh, an expert on that. What uh, what our role has been has uh, is, is on the parliamentary side. You know, there there clearly were were problems, challenges. Uh, embarrassments with respect to uh, the functioning of the High Judicial and Prosecutorial Council. And it was in the wake of that, that uh, Parliament uh, uh, has asserted itself. And, and that's, uh, in, in our view, that's the way it should work. You know, the, in the end, the, uh, the legislative body has responsibility for overseeing the operations of government, dealing with problems. And uh, so that's, that's what uh, that's what we are uh, about and concerned about, and, and that has been our level of involvement. Not to pass judgment on the uh, on the judicial system or or, or or the challenges they're they're facing, but to uh, offer encouragement and and some support and help with the oversight process. During the call, uh, media reported that you offered. Uh, Congressional assistance, U.S. congressional assistance. Uh, what was the response to that offer by the parliamentarians, and uh, and concretely, what might that assistance look like? It's hard to know what direction this might take. Uh, eventually, the, uh, the the chairman and and the other members of the uh, commission were were very uh, very receptive. We we this is a broadly based, of course, in Bosnia. Things need to be broadly based if they're to work well in terms of the parliamentary factions and and who's represented on a on a body such as this one. And uh, so so we heard from a, a range of members who I think have uh, made a good start in holding these uh, hearings in recent months. And uh, I I can't tell you in detail where where they're heading, but the process looks to be off to a to a good promising start and uh, they've consulted internationally. I, I mean, they, they're continuing interlocutors with the EU, with OSCE, with other bodies. And, and we're very happy to be included in that, in that group. And so uh, we, uh, we member to member uh, are, are available for consultations and conversations. And then I told them on the call that if there is uh, some kind of technical assistance the kind of things that uh, staff might uh, 
help with in terms of the staging of hearings and the and the, and the staffing of this. It's very important, by the way, that that an inquiry of this sort or an oversight process of this sort have adequate staff. You know, there need to be <clears throat> there need to be independent professional staff who understand the issues and who can um, be the the resource for the for the for the members of, of parliament who are who are doing this and, and and they simply have to have that kind of support. So we do know about that. We we know about staffing um, our committees and our oversight uh, uh, processes and um, and and we have we, we we're ready. We stand ready to consult with them as as they do the same.